Get the bag, King Walker. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What's going on, LFG fam? Welcome back to another episode of the LFG podcast, your favorite podcast for everything and anything pop culture. My name is Jet. And as always, I'm joined by J Mac, John Codes, and my wife Andrea is here. And yes, sir. from everyone at LFG, we want to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, depending on when you see this episode. You might see it a little bit later. But nonetheless, happy holidays from everybody at LFG. And uh, as you can see for the for the visual people, not so much <laughs> the, the audio, but we try to get in the festive spirit. And we had a little uh, ugly sweater competition. And I must say, you know, my panelists always look good. But as J Mac <laughs> likes to say, I think I got them boys beat, you feel me? There's no way. This, Bro. this is an ugly Christmas sweater. This man went with a badass Akatsuki yeah, fucking yeah. No, 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 sweater. No, no, no. What are we no doing? Way. Let me go this ahead and show ugly everybody too. the llama. What is this? No. <laughs> this is llama. Play with the llama. <laughs> Scarf, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you jingling? Got, you jingling the, the the, no, that one That's is pretty one. horrendous, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. On, As man. you can see, I came. I'm one of the hosts, so I came in a nice but little suit is, and stuff. I feel like yours is worse, J Mag. Really? Yeah, I really hate that. It's a... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey, I'll take it. Hell Ooh. yeah. And then, John, what you got going on? Show, show the viewers I'm what you got going on. Snoop on the stoop. <laughs> oh yeah. Hold up. It's Snoop oh, yeah. on the stoop. Is that got pedals on it? Was that pedals on the sides? What was it? Oh, a little snowflakes. Oh, no, the, the one on the right and left. That little dog houses too? Was there little dog houses at the bottom? Oh, yeah. yeah. I see the bone Where? on them. Uh, okay. Oh, dogs. Dogs. Like, yeah. I'm like, hold on, wait, yeah. this is XXL. Well, at the at the end of the show, you know, we'll let it go on. At the end of the show, we'll all vote for who we think has the ugliest Christmas uh, sweater, and then the winner of that is going to go ahead and get a first round pick in a future draft of their choosing. Uh, and then also, we'll put a poll up yeah. just for you guys too to go ahead and, and vote for those of you that are watching to see who you think had the worst one. So make sure you guys comment down below for that. There will be polls up for that too. So vote on that. But uh, yeah, without further ado, this is our special Christmas episode. Let's jump right into it. You know how we like to start it with the news. Uh, I don't have too much news on my part this uh, this time. So let's just get straight into it. And here we go. Uh, one of the bigger pieces of news that came out over the week was uh, after more than two decades of E3, each one bigger than the last, the time has come to say goodbye. Thanks for the memories. Damn. Uh, E3 yeah, is yeah. shutting down. E3? No more E3s. Uh, yeah. As we know, once COVID hit, they kind of like, it, they never had another live show after that. They planned for one, I think, Damn. this year. It didn't work out. People were pulling out Nintendo. The big guys were pulling out PlayStation, Xbox, and they started doing their own, you know, shows. And I guess they realized, like, nah, we don't need this no more. So, yeah. So, E3 is is, is gone. No more E3 is kind of sad, but, hey, it is mm -hmm. what it is. You guys prefer uh, that? Like, PlayStation Showcase and stuff like that? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. I think I do. Um, E three was cool though, cause like, hey, E three is coming up. You know they're gonna drop some crazy shit. That's that's where you drop mm -hmm. your trailers. That's where you drop your that's gameplays weird. and shit. So that would have been pretty cool. But uh, yeah, they're doing their own stuff, and I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Uh, moving on to some movie news. Godzilla minus one, uh, talk of the mo the movie of the year, I guess for for a lot of people. Uh, had an estimated grossing of two point four million dollars on Sunday. Uh, the weekend as a whole estimated for a solid 8.3 million, which is only a 27% decrease from the weekend before the lowest drop of the year for any movie. So yeah, as it continues to get viewership and people continue to go see it, it's just making more money. This obviously had a, not that big of a drop off compared to other movies. So that was pretty cool to see sticking with Godzilla. Uh, supposedly the budget for Godzilla minus one was only 15 million. Come to find out uh, Takashi Yamazaki forgive me if i didn't say that right reportedly denies reports that they will he had a budget of 15 million he was quoted as saying i wish it were that much uh like i said if you guys haven't seen this movie like he, he had less than 15 million dollars to work on this movie i didn't have any complaints obviously there's some places where you can see like okay the cgi is not that good or the practical effects aren't that good but for the most part that movie was done really well and less than 15 million dollars so with that being said i kind of wanted to do a little side question for this 
we know MCU's 200 million, 300 million, you know, big budget movies. Those aren't working out anymore. And I think they've even had reports of wanting to do smaller budget movies. Do we think that's a great, a better idea for them to go to those smaller budget movies and maybe have more success on that? You say no. They wow. need to just fix the script. That's all they need to do. Yeah, mm. I'm kind of saying, but I don't think it matters. I just think it's the yeah, decisions it's a... being made with that money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that, then that doesn't that force them to like, okay, they have a bigger budget. They can kind of do what they want. Doesn't that force them to kind of like focus more on the story, focus more on the characters and be you like, you would think, no. right? If they had less of a budget, I think, I think oh, I they had less less of a if they had less of a budget, no. they were, they'd be forced they, to do these no. type of things. They have to make it good. Yeah. Cause they can't make they don't it don't have a big budget good. to rely on. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Well, that's just so something I want to bring up. Uh, next piece of news here I got for you. Naughty Dog cancels production on the Last of Us online uh, game. Oh, this was a statement damn. from Naughty Dog. Uh, quite lengthy, but not too bad. Uh, he said that they were quoted as saying, there is no easy way to say this. We've made the incredible difficult decision to stop development on that game. In ramping up to a full production, the massive scope of our ambition became clear. To release and support The Last of Us Online, we'd have to put all our studio resources behind supporting post content content for years to come, severely impacting development on future single-player games. So they're basically saying it was too big for them. They'd have to have dedicated team for for online and that's just gonna suffer uh the other games that they have on the burner uh but i don't that's they did it right they did it back on the day on ps3 last of us online had a multiplayer mode and stuff like that so yeah i don't know like more like open world maybe that and i guess that's what i'm getting from it i thought it was just gonna be like the ps3 version but i i think i guess not i guess they had bigger ambitions for it like he said and it's just wasn't able to happen so that kind of sucks that would have been pretty cool to see like an yeah, open I world last like, i kind of feel like that would be the only um like thing of that being canceled because if it was just like a call of duty type of game i mean i don't i don't feel like that would have took a lot to make yeah yeah you're right for sure so that, that's sad to see that would have been pretty cool <laughs> an online game like that uh moving on to some avatar news spoilers now letting you guys know if you guys do not want to know possibly future plot points for the future movies do not uh go ahead and and come back to this later but we do have some avatar 4 details uh it reportedly has a six year time jump film continues after avatar 3 releases script got zero notes from the studio all they said was holy fuck (laughs) so that's kind of crazy releases in december 20 uh in in theaters december 21st 2029 so that's a long ways away wow. uh but yeah so uh, this is avatar 4 so we still haven't even seen the third one obviously the, the second one came out this year but we're still missing three but yeah reportedly this one's gonna come out in a while that's so crazy. i thought that would be pretty cool <laughs> uh moving on to some a24 and cody's favorite actor of all time the rock the rock will star in the smashing machine for a24 it's written and directed by benny safty and follows the life of mma fighter mark kerr People in the comments for this one were like, okay, The Rock knew he was falling off and he was becoming irrelevant. So what'd he do? He went to go team up with the studio. This actually makes good movies. So maybe he could Damn. become relevant again and show his acting chops crazy. and shit like that. So I don't know. That's, that's, what, crazy. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's what... but he's teaming up with A24 for the next movie. That'd be pretty cool, I think. Uh, moving on to some more A24 news. Hideo Kojima is partnering with A24 for the live action Death Stranding movie. So keep your eyes oh, uh, tuned for that. Oh, uh, they got the creator of the game, like we've seen with with One Piece and Oda coming over here to A twenty four, which is another great movie studio. They got both the creator and A twenty four behind this. This might be crazy. So something to look out for in the future. And last piece of news: they dropped the What If episode titles, which air on the twenty second. So you'll see them on screen. Go ahead and let us know what you guys think. But yeah, they dropped. I think it was at nine episodes. And as they said, it's going to be an episode every day, starting on the 22nd, ending on the 30th. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's all the news I got for you guys today. Jet, you have anything? Yeah, I got six things. Uh, Pop Tropica is no longer um, ending, and it's now free for everyone this month. Um, so it was reported um, earlier, in thinking that same day that Pop Tropica was shutting down on December 30th. Um, and that that computer game was around from when we were little um i didn't even know it was still up um and then after that news came out apparently it's no longer shutting down so pop chop the diehards you guys no longer have to fear but that was pretty cool diehards um, diehards huh like they still playing that shit yeah that's their shit <laughs> uh 
Apparently, Ninjago and Fortnite are doing a collaboration, mm-hmm. um, and there will be a lot of content in that game mode. The Lego <laughs> mode will have Ninjago buildings, enemies slash bosses such as General Vex, Blizzard archers, and Blizzard sword masters. Um, I've never seen Ninjago. I know a lot of people fucking love that shit. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's a big deal for all the Lego people out there. Fortnite just keeps growing. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be yeah. crazy by the time it's all said and done. It's fucking nuts. Uh, I'll save that one. Um, aiding, I believe. I I'm not sure, but <clears throat> for right now, aiding is developing a Hunter Hunter full scale fighting game. Um. The publisher is Bushy Road Games, and more information regarding the title will be revealed um, on Tokyo Dome City Hall on January 6, 2024. Um, so I'm not sure if this is going to be like an arena fighter or more of like uh, like an open world kind of aspect, but I think the potential of a Hunter Hunter game is through the fucking roof. So, on January what if it's just 6th, like that challenge tower? Yeah, but they, sure. You know, just <laughs> sure. Do that. Yeah. Uh, the January sixth. Stay tuned to LFG for more on that because we'll definitely definitely be covering that. Um, Percy Jackson is now certified fresh at a ninety seven percent. Ooh, <laughs> critics. I'm assuming because obviously it hasn't come yeah, out, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. damn, ninety seven is kind of nuts. Wow, Cody, you're up. <laughs> 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 That's cool. Um, this one is from uh, Cosmic Marvel on on X. I'm not sure how reliable they are, but I just thought it was pretty interesting. Um, and just to see what you guys think about it. Uh, Spider-Man 4 is reportedly being described as a street-level li- street civil war. Um, Kate Bishop, Jessica Jones, and Echo may appear in the film. Like I said, that's just a fucking rumor, obviously. But I just wanted to see what you guys think about that. Because obviously, out of that group, Spider-Man is the fucking strongest. And I don't see a world where he would be fighting them, so you can only assume that it's a team up. Um, and I just kind of feel like, like, who the fuck would they be fighting at that point? To where what does street that's level team mean? Up? Well, because they're not like Kate Bishop, Jessica Jones, and Echo aren't like the strongest. So like they're like you said, Civil War, right? Yeah, that's what it says. Street level. Hey, yeah, Civil it War. could be like on some they're doing their own thing, and but they're fucking shit up, and then you know, Peter what if them versus Spider Man? That's what Sorry. I'm saying. Peter comes. Yeah. No, you're good. You're on track. Peter comes in and he's like, "Well, y'all can't do that. Y'all got to do this under like some type of rules, like because like like how Iron Man was. You got to be grounded under people that are watching over you. So then that's when they go back and forth, and then he has to fight them. Possibly. Damn. What one dude against? Crypto. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if it's a Civil War S, it's got to be fighting heroes versus heroes, right? So maybe. And then this is just another like Tom movie where nigga needs help, but we'll uh, we'll skip that. Um, He's in a solo, don't worry. And then my last piece of news, which will bleed in to the next conversation, is Avengers: The Kang Dynasty is now being referred to as Avengers Five. Damn. Damage control. <laughs> oh man uh well let's get right into it the first topic of the day is jonathan major's implications on the mcu obviously we have our opinions and things on his actual court and the verdict that they went through and all that but we're a pop culture podcast so we're gonna go and talk about the implications of the mcu uh obviously marvel came out and i think not that long after maybe an hour or so after that happened Quick. they reported yeah they, they dropped him they dropped him. They said he is no longer with us. Uh, we are moving Oops. on from him. Um, so that go- coincides for me with reports of them wanting to shift to Dr. Doom. Uh, we also got the news of possibly, what's his name? Killian. Killian being Dr. Doom. Uh, so I'm sure they have something already on, on in the works with all that. And they had a contingencies ready to go out, keeping up with all the trial stuff. So I personally would like to see Dr. Doom. But I am hesitant because I hope they can get their shit together and I hope they have a script and they have their Bible and they have shit ready to go in order to fix to fix that. That way Dr. Doom doesn't come on, it's just a complete failure. So 
I do want to see Doctor Doom in the MCU, and if they go that way, cool. I know we got the whole Council of Kings coming, so I'm not sure what they're going to do that with was, that. That's what I was going to say. So you're done with Kang. Uh, I think they're done with Kang. I mean, we we said this multiple times. They're done. They he's done lost three times already. So Council of Kings is coming, obviously. But I, you think they can kind of just like uh, brush Probably that aside and just. Him. Uh, maybe they recast them and they continue, but changing the name is is what's key here. Why would they change Kang Dynasty to just Avengers Five? They would keep Kang's Dynasty and then just want to recast, right? So, I mean, obviously it's still early, and maybe they still can do that, but that tells me that I think they have some other plans instead for that one. Yeah, crazy. Damn, man. Because then. Like, I was going to say, like, you either go into Doctor Doom or you start preparing and start building towards, I guess, Galactus. I mean, they both, like, mm-hmm. sort of tie their way around uh, Fantastic Four. But this is, like, it's just a mess. Like, it, it, it really, yeah. like, there's no other, there's no other way to put it. And they, they've done so much to build up into the Kang Dynasty to just now like get rid of Kang. It's just like <laughs> fuck, man. We wasted <laughs> the old face years of our life, bro. <laughs> yeah, they still can, and they maybe the answer is just recast, stay on track, mm-hmm. fix what you got, and just well. you know, just just do it, just recast. It'll be fine because I had saw reports too that they wanted him to be every single Kang in the Council of Kings, like all those Kings that we saw, all of them. <laughs> he wanted to, he did, he wanted him to play all of them. Uh, so yeah, that's obviously not going to work anymore. I, yeah, I mean, if you're going to stick with them, just recast it and just keep the course. You guys had a plan and, and stick with it, I guess. So we'll see. Like I said, I still I'd rather see Doctor Doom, but if they want to keep Kang, just recast. I think that's all they got. Uh, they'll do both. Yeah. That's it. You guys good? <laughs> I'm so disappointed in him, man. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> I was yeah, when you, you brought up Galactus, that's another way they can do it and actually <laughs> hopefully they're like, fuck, maybe we just do Galactus and not just do this cameo that he he has or we kill him off like we suspected they might have or you know, hope that they didn't, I guess. So maybe they can do that route, but yeah. Let us know your thoughts in, in the comments down below. Uh, what do you guys think? Should they just recast? Should they move on to Doctor Doom, Galactus, somebody else? What do you guys think? Make sure you guys let us know what your thoughts on that. But uh, moving on to our next topic here. Uh, if y'all didn't know, Jet's been keeping up with this more than we have. But Insomniac got hacked and got their shit leaked. So, Jet, what you got on that one? So, yeah. Um, a bunch of... A bunch of um reveals got revealed i guess not really reveals just a bunch of um leaks happened um and the super big one that everyone's talking about right now because um of just the i guess damage control that they're probably gonna have to do now is wolverine footage gameplay um I don't even want to say beta footage or alpha footage. I feel like it's earlier footage than that. Just oh, wow. um, just a bunch of footage from the game, um, who's in the game, the plot of the game, everything got leaked. Um, oh, shit. And then yeah. even on top of that, um, several Insomniac game projects got re- re- uh, leaked. Um, a Venom game in 2025. Wolverine was releasing in 2026. Spider-Man 3 Damn. in 2028. Um, another Ratchet and Clank game in 2029. And an X-Men game in 2030. Um, Ooh, that's a long ways. So yeah, mm-hmm. their whole fucking plans for fucking seven, eight years from now got fucking put into the the public. Crazy. And I just I feel bad for Insomniac because I like and I just talked about like the games and the studio's plans, but it even goes further than this. Like the hackers released um, a bunch of the employees like personal information, uh, like their, yeah, oh, uh, addresses yeah. and shit. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's crazy over there at Insomniac. Bro. Yeah. 
you know, you know, our hearts go out to, to everyone affected. And it's it's just fucking wow. Insomniac, like that shit is crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah. How do they uh, have these huge leaks? Well they got hacked. Uh well there was actually called anonymous. I can't remember which one. The giant leak. Of what? I don't remember, but there was a giant leak. <laughs> oh, the fucking the GTA. Oh yeah. Oh GTA, yeah. They leak too. Did it? Um, uh, but they were yeah, like, "Fuck they, it, we're dropping this shit." <laughs> they, they got hacked, and the hackers told them, "Give us, I think it was like two million dollars or something like that." That's crazy. Or we're releasing everything. <laughs> and they were like, "Nah." Yeah, they were like, "Well, fuck you guys," and they said, "All right, bet." <laughs> That's why I was a little everything. So. Uh, I think as far as for me, I think that's just free publicity for them. I, I, do you think they change their schedule plans? I think they just keep on schedule, right? They just, I, I hope they wouldn't change their plans because it's Venom. You said Venom in 2025. That's ooh, almost, that's another year. So hopefully they keep their track. But all the stuff that was coming out, I thought, look, I, I didn't see a lot of it, but the stuff that I did see looked pretty <laughs> good. Uh, <laughs> so. I, I don't know. Hopefully they just, you know, keep the course because uh, that's a shame. But that other shit, I didn't even know about that. You know, their information, the employees getting leaked. Like, why? What's the reason for that? It's like, what the hell? Just to be dicks. That's crazy. That's, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I but, saw that earlier and I was frozen? like, damn, bro. Like, yeah. Why? Yeah, you're good, John. You're good. Uh, Yeah. So uh, that's unfortunate. But hopefully we'll see what happens with that. Uh, Wolverine, damn! What, what, what did you say? Twenty six, right? Twenty six. Damn, that's. I thought it was gonna be closer than that. Yeah, Wolverine was in twenty twenty six. Um, the the Spider Man three in twenty twenty eight. Ratchet and Clank twenty twenty nine, and X Men in twenty thirty. Damn, I'm gonna be old by the time all yeah, that shit comes out. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I should let you know that. Like how early that Wolverine footage is? Cause that game is three years away. Apparently. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I thought that was like the uh, twenty twenty four, maybe twenty five type shit. Hell nah. Damn, yeah, apparently the whole plot like... to the game got leaked. Damn, that's crazy. Damn. Yeah, that I'm not gonna go look up. And you know, I want to experience the game because we know how Spider Man yeah. came out in this story. So I don't want to go look that shit up. And hopefully that doesn't get spoiled for me. But damn, oh, yeah, that's a, that sucks. From the clips that I that I saw, it it looks like a. It looks like God of War. Um, it it's Insomniac, so it does look like Spider Man a little bit, but that shit looks gruesome. Like he's breaking limbs and shit, and popping people's arms out of place. Like he's oh shit, that game looks like it's gonna be crazy. So yo, man, I'm not these salty motherfuckers, you know that. Why didn't Spider Man win? But damn it, why didn't Spider Man win yeah. the game of the year? They let us play as Venom, man. They let us play as Venom, and I lost my shit. I was like, oh, we're actually going to be him? So that was cool to get a full-fledged game and make it be gruesome and shit like that. Yeah, that's going to be kind of crazy. So that's something to look out for, for sure. But any final thoughts before we head uh, to our next topic, guys? Fuck hackers. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Baldur's Gate. <laughs> But yeah, there you go. Make sure you guys leave your comments uh, and thoughts on in the comments down below. What do you guys think about the leaks? Uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens with all that. But moving on, you know it is our Christmas episode, so we had to do a very special uh, let's fucking fight. It's been a minute since we did a, a fighting bracket, so this week we've got for you uh, Christmas movies. We kind of all went through the Christmas movies a little bit, and this is the one that we thought was actually pretty good. Uh, I unfortunately cannot shuffle the seating because when we shuffle the seating, it gets messed up. So the way it is is the way it is. So well, I, these will be new, really. I mean, I was skimming through them, but I didn't really see what was up against what. So this would be kind of new for all of us. So here we go. We got five people. Let's let's. There's no coin. Let's just get right uh, into it and see what comes out we're gonna do it all it's a christmas episode we're gonna do the whole thing today so let's let's do this here we go a muppet the muppet christmas carol versus escape claus santa claus three santa claus three. Ooh, ooh. look 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 santa the santa claus is wow that's one of my all-time favorites that's one of my all-time favorites the third one the third one is their weakest one isn't that one rough that one is the uh, rough one. That's whoa, the weakest whoa, one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is rough about this? That's a Jack Frost one. The Jack yeah, Frost one. And Jack yeah, Frost yeah. becomes Santa and then he has to fix it, right? Yeah, yeah. he has to so, fix right? it. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. It was the weaker of the three. I don't it was, well, it yeah, was okay. It's, it's like that extra one they threw in there, but okay. it was still I, the I festive. Think I'm do the Santa Claus one. The Santa Claus three. You got one it's, for Santa I've Claus. I've never seen the Muppets, but I haven't seen the Muppet. 
Yeah, I haven't seen it either, but it's obviously a Christmas Carol. We can know how that goes, more or less. And if it's different from that, let us know down in the comments. You're like, hey, Blasphemous, go watch that shit. It doesn't nothing, but let us know. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I, just for that fact alone, I've got to go with the uh, Santa Claus 3. So that's where I'm at. That's two for that, or three for that. So I what think that wins it. But for the record, what do you guys think? What did you say, John? On the bottom, the little ad. <laughs> 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 John, where where are you at? What do you what do you the, the Muppets? The Muppets oh. for the record. Jet for the record. I think I, I think the Muppets too, man. I think Santa Claus you were the Muppets. sucks. Damn, okay. That's, that's crazy, crazy bro. I think that's the only Santa Claus I have. You think seen. the Muppets is better? That's crazy. That is yeah. crazy. Uh next one we got for you guys is Jack Frost starring Michael Keaton and the Miracle on 34th Street. Uh, I've heard of the Miracle on 34th Street. Oh, I oh, do hear it's a great Jack movie. Frost. <laughs> Jack Frost, wow. Yeah, but yeah. Jack that, uh, Frost and Michael Keaton. Snowman? No, 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 no. That was after this one. <laughs> <laughs> that was after this one. Uh, this one I did. I did like. I honestly forgot about this they one. Made the but the snowman look just like Michael Keaton. That's crazy. Yeah, they, yeah, they did. So I think my vote for this one is Jack Frost. Jet, I think you said Jack Frost. Dre, yeah. you going Jack Frost? Yeah. So there it settles that. John, codes for the record. Where are you guys going? Yeah, Jack Frost. Jack Frost okay. sweeps. Uh, next one we got for you guys oh, is no Bad way. Santa Come versus on. Kiss Kiss Bang Come Bang. I I, I I I can't tell you anything about Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I've heard of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but against Bad Santa though, I think at least. Bad, bad Santa. Santa the fuck I, mean, I think I have seen Bad Santa. He goes around that and shit. steals shit. He's a terrible, <laughs> fucked up ass dude. Bad Santa. Yeah. <laughs> And then there was like even like ver uh, versions of it would be like batter Santa because it was like unrated yeah, or some uh, shit. So yeah. Charlie Brown Christmas, yeah, Charlie Brown, bro. a Charlie yeah. Brown Christmas versus Charlie four Brown Christmases. Christmas. Dang, that's three. I don't even remember this one. I can't four believe Christmas. that was put with. You don't remember four Christmases? Christmases? I've seen it like yeah, once or I, twice I since back in the day. Uh, but yeah, okay, Charlie Charlie Brown wins that one regardless. I, damn. I'm not. I'm not a fan of, of the peanuts, man. I'm not. Me neither. I, I would have went for Christmases for the. Oh damn! Uh, next one we got Black Christmas versus Rise of the Guardians. Black Christmas is that Rise, of the, Rise of the Guardians. You haven't seen Rise? Of, I've seen it, but it's been so long I couldn't tell you how it went. Black Christmas. I, I don't know if this is the remake or not, but I know there was one. Pretty much just the sorority house. I think is, a, if I'm not mistaken, is getting killed by a murderer on Christmas Day. So oh shit. And then Rise of the Guardians, like I said, I haven't seen it in a long time, but uh, damn, I think I'd go Rise of the Guardians though. I'm going Black Christmas. Yeah, that's Black the, Christmas. That's the plot. That seems more interesting. So John Zero Black Christmas. Uh, Dre, you said you were Rise of the Guardians. Yeah. yeah so little Jet oh. for the first tiebreaker of the show. That movie sucked. Dick. Nah, Rise of the Guardians. Rise wow. of the Guardians. We have mm. Krampus. Versus Scrooge, uh, I did like this Krampus movie a lot. Man. Yeah, right. That was cool. the most recent. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah that's the cool. most recent one. That one was pretty cool. But going up, I haven't seen this classic Scrooge, which is obviously the one in the. Oh, that, that's the classic one, man. And so I don't know how it is. I think there's. Is that true? Hey, go, go at me in the comments. But I don't know if there's, there's got to be some better than the classic one, though, right? I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> I, I go, I go Krampus, man. I, I'm a fan of this Krampus movie. I liked it, so I gotta go Krampus. Yeah, I'm going Krampus. Okay. I Jet. Seen either of them. I'm hoping I'm there's another Scrooge iteration on here. So there's so, gotta be, right? I've, I've never seen the old school one. Isn't there one yeah. with um? No, oh, like I know. An there's animated one. Yeah, there's with, other ones. With Jimmy one mm -hmm. uh, Codes for the oh, record? Is it? I think I'm, I'm gonna go Scrooge because I haven't seen Krampus, but I know of a Scrooge. Krampus if there's not another Scrooge. one. Okay, so so there you go. Dre hasn't seen either one. Did you want to just throw a vote out there for the record, Dre? No, because I haven't seen either of those. Okay, moving on to our next one, we have the holiday versus a bad mom's Christmas. Uh, I saw the first bad moms, never saw the second one, which is the Christmas one. The uh, first one I thought was okay. Of the same shit, right? Uh, yeah, this is more of like, the, the holidays, like that rom com type of stuff, like oh, that. The holiday. Uh, the holiday, yeah. The holiday. Yeah, okay, bad John. Stand Jack Black. I'm, I'm with you on bad moms. I'm gonna go bad moms. Yeah. Codes for our Christmas. second tiebreaker. And Kate oh, wins man. Like, wow. And it sucks. Love all we need. Is that Joe? Yeah. No. Oh, it is? Joe, know, Joe it Black, like or Jack Black, right? Is that what you meant to say? No, uh, no from, um, Cody knows that stupid ass from, from you. Show. 
Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's why no, I said no. No, motherfucker, that's oh, okay. Jude Law. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, yeah, I'm going to go with Jude Law. Right You're going to go with the holiday? Just, okay, so the holiday yeah, takes that one. just whooped the Eagles yesterday. <laughs> Christmas Jude with Law. the Cranks versus Fred Claus. This is a good one. That is, yeah. Oh, that's a good one, man. Christmas Ooh. with the Cranks. I'm going Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn and Fred Claus. I thought that one was okay. They're both okay movies, I remember, but I think I remember Fred Claus. I think I'm gonna go Christmas with the Cranks on this one. Ooh, I'm going Fred. I haven't seen those. Have you seen it? Those Fred Claus is cool. Sorry, right. I think I've seen Fred Claus. I think I've seen Christmas with the Cranks, but I don't remember like, what happened. No, the, the whole time. You're going to go Fred? Okay, Dre, just to, if you want to... Wait, wait, that's three already, right, for Fred? So. Yeah, okay, so regardless. Okay, okay. We're good. Claus. Two. Fred Claus takes that one. Last Christmas versus another Scrooge. And this one looks even older than the mm. last one. So, damn, I don't know. What the Dickens have they done to Scrooge? The Dickens? I, I, I haven't seen the la- I haven't seen Last Christmas. That's Amelia Clark, I believe, that I'm looking at, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I'm mistaken. It looks like Amelia Clark. I don't know. But I haven't seen it. Got to go with the Scrooge one because obviously I know yeah, what the Scrooge story the Scrooge, is. Because the other one looks like a rom bullshit. I'm going to go I'm gonna go last Christmas because we got to get all the rest of the Scrooges out of here. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go last Christmas. I haven't seen it, but I heard last Christmas is crazy. All right, so I'm going to take that as a last Christmas. Here we go. I heard it's sad. Oh, oh. <laughs> that is kind of insane. Yo, okay, we have <laughs> the Polar Express versus Die Hard. For those of you wow. say Die Hard is not a Christmas movie, you're wrong. It's a Christmas movie, man. Oh man, but going up against a classic like the Polar Express. Yeah, the Polar Express. Bro. Yeah, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, but, yeah. It's like so the Polar Polar John. What do you think? It's Polar Polar man. Express. Dre already said Polar too. Okay, I, yeah, I gotta go Polar, it's man. Like, polar, that's kind of crazy. I think Die Hard plays anybody else. I think, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll be home for Christmas uh, versus come on, come on, come a that, Christmas come on. Carol. About, uh, Christmas come on, Carol, come on. He's the oh my yeah, God, man. When I was a kid, uh, so we're going with I'll be home Christmas for Christmas. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we gotta go Christmas Carol. Isn't that what we're saying? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So okay, okay. That's cool. He's creepy in that movie. Die Harder. <laughs> Die Harder versus <laughs> Iron Man 3. This should not count as a Christmas movie. Right? <laughs> hey, hey, he had a whole Christmas like scene in there in the cabin with the little kid. In, in the Christmas <laughs> Look at him, man. Put Die Hard 2, bro. What are we yeah, doing? Yeah. Die Hard 2. I, I don't, yeah, yeah, Die Hard 2. Okay. Damn. Who did it Die Hard enough the first time? Like, come on. Die Harder. Like, Die harder. harder. The Prancer the versus oh. The Nightmare Before oh, Christmas. Th- 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 throw it up. Prancer got his own movie? <laughs> Prancer got his own Prancer. movie. Something oh, magical is that. about to happen. I haven't seen it, uh, but obviously we know what The Nightmare Before Christmas it. is. And it ain't about to happen in this one. Isn't that that's kinda, movie? That is kind of crazy, right? You could put this movie on for Halloween and for Christmas. Like, damn! That's why. Two uh, for one. Oh, yeah. Arthur Christmas versus Elf. Come elf. on, elf. come on, bro. Elf. He's a sweet. Come on, man. Elf. elf. Jet, for the record, you're not saying much. No, it's Elf. Okay, okay, okay. No, it's Elf, but what did you pick? Oh! Mickey's <laughs> Christmas Carol versus Home Alone 2. Man, I, haven't se- I haven't seen Mickey's Christmas Carol, but I know Home Alone 2 is a Home great Home Alone 2 is the one where he goes to Trump Tower, Tower right? Yep. Yes, yep. bro. He's lost this is in New York. York. He's lost in New York. Yeah, uh, I gotta go home alone too on this one. Yeah. Yes, bro. Oh, but Mickey's a Christmas Carol goes home alone. Mickey, I think I'm gonna do home alone too. Yeah. Oh, Mickey. thank you, Dre. I thought we were about to ask John. Where were you going with that? <laughs> Mickey. Yeah. Okay. I thought we were about to have some kind because Jet went uh, Mickey, right? Jet, is that what you said? Dre saved us Y'all right there. Crazy. Oh my god! Thank you so much. That would have been crazy. crazy. That's crazy. No way. Oh, oh my god! Listen, no, 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 no. no. Uh, a very I'm Harold fighting. and Kumar Christmas. I'm versus fighting everybody. The Grinch. It's Harold and Kumar. I'm fighting everybody. Come on. This is Illuminations. The Grinch. That's cool. yeah, which that's I I will say this. I enjoyed movies. it. A lot of people, from what I understand, didn't. No, it's a funny movie. Yeah, I enjoyed The Grinch, this I, one. I, yeah, it's pretty funny. 
the Harold Grinch and Kumar. is funny. But Harold and Kumar is funny. I've never you. seen the Christmas one though. But I'm still gonna pick the Grinch. Uh, I've never seen the, the the Christmas one. Oh, <laughs> she pulled it up. Still gonna go with the Grinch. Yeah. I'm with the, no Grinch. with the Grinch. Dre's with the Grinch. Codes is with Harold and Kumar. Bro. John, where are you going? Come Have on, you seen bro. the Grinch movie? No. What the fuck are you doing? It ain't better than the original. You haven't seen it. Well, it's not, but it's good still. See? Wait, what is the original? The original is he talking about the 30s, 40s? Who is the, who is the, yeah, is with the, the live action. You're putting a live oh, action. Oh, you're talking about the live action. Movie? Yeah, absolutely. This is oh, my you. God. Okay, Take here we go, away, Jet. Come it's on, bro. Grand. Yeah. It's the, <laughs> no suspense whatsoever yeah. it's the Grinch so that concludes the left side we're moving on oh no we're staying on the left side sorry I forgot how the windows work so we got Santa Claus 3 the escape clause versus Jack Frost there's Ooh. no way the Grinch be Ooh. Harold and Kumar no 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 because this is crazy because you're mad over a movie you haven't seen there's no <laughs> way the Grinch be Harold and it's the same you, you, story you, Justin how do you know how do you know how do you know it's tell me I'm wrong Tell me how I'm wrong. Know? Tell you me. Know? Tell you me made right that now. Point without tell knowing. it. You this made is, that this point is a remake. Tell me I'm wrong. You made that point without knowing. This is a remake. Tell me I am you made wrong. That point without tell knowing. me I'm wrong and I'll shut up right On now. On to the next side. Tell me I'm wrong and I will shut up On right to the now. Next side. That's On what to I next. thought. That's what On I thought. It. It's crazy, bro. It's a solid so remake. Crazy. It's funny. That's fine. It could be solid. It ain't uh-huh. beating Harold and Kumar. Acting like Harold and Kumar is like fucking a god movie. Yeah. Can you relax? It's, it's better than a remake that's animated. What the? No, that movie. You haven't seen it. That movie's good. Oh. Mm. See, now, now the fact you go see it, you already have it in your mindset that this is not going to be good. So bad. it's just trash already. It's just bad. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I'm pretty sense. sure it's enjoyable. It's an animated movie, but it's a remake. Why are we gassing remakes? What, is that, what does that mean? Because in a list, so, so, there's, so to... there's no good remakes. I didn't say that. I just said it. That's, that is, that's what you're saying. You haven't what seen I'm it. I'm saying we're, we're trying to, we're, we're sitting here trying to put stuff in a bracket. I'm not going to put a remake over something like Harold and Kumar. Okay. What the <laughs> bro, Relax. this nigga is crazy. It's fine, he lost. Harold and Kumar is a classic, bro. bro. It's a classic. It's fine. It's wait, wait, wait out. till I Google search a remake. The wait, Grinch bro. is finna be a uh, throwaway, nah, bro. What are we crazy. doing? Nigga hasn't seen the fucking movie. How the fuck is it? Again, is it is it or is it not the same story? Get the fuck out that, of that's here. That's what I thought. If you're not going to you answer that, that's what you I thought. You haven't seen it. You haven't you, seen you're it. right here. You saw it right or wrong. You're debating me on something you haven't seen. Same story, right or wrong. You haven't seen it. Same story, right or wrong. You haven't seen it. Same story, right or wrong. The Lion King live action is the same story and it sucks. That's true. Damn. That's next not side. the point. Ne- next um, side. That, that next was side. not the point I was ne- making. Next side. That was ne- not ne- the point side. I was making. Next side. Next time, next time, <laughs> get the fuck out of here, bro. What the? You're fuck? Fuck? All right, <laughs> here we go. Santa Claus Three versus Jack Frost. This one's a little tougher for me, but I think I gotta go Jack Frost. Yeah, yeah Jack, Jack Frost. Frost. Okay. It's just wow. He really does look like Michael Keaton, and he just has like dark eyes. We have Bad Santa versus a Charlie Brown Christmas. Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. Bad oh. Santa. Bad Santa. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with the Bad Santa. Oh. Rise of the Guardians versus Krampus. I gotta go Krampus on this one again. I haven't seen Rise of the Guardians. I haven't seen Krampus. I say Rise of the Guardians just because I've seen it. Krampus could be okay. better, but I haven't seen it. That's fair. So that's two to one. Jet coats. I think Krampus would be better. Have you seen Krampus? Okay. Yeah, but is that is that a new one? Yeah, he said Krampus. He said Krampus. Oh, uh, we got the holiday versus Fred Claus. Haven't seen the holiday. Seen Fred Claus. Got to go for the holiday. Oh Frederick. shit, Cody for the tiebreaker. Frederick Claus. Frederick Claus goes on. The Polar Express versus the Last Christmas. Obviously, Polar Express. Polar Express. Come on, man. Polar Express. <laughs> a Christmas Carol versus Die Come Hard on, 2. Man. Come on, Damn. man. Damn, we got to get these up against each other. Oh, shit. 
Oh shit! No, nah. a night the nightmare before Christmas versus Elf. Me personally, I'm gonna start us off. I gotta go Elf. I'm gonna go Elf. I'm backing you. It's I'm Let's going go. Elf. Yeah, y'all are fucking insane. John, your nightmare. Jet, your nightmare. I'm assuming. Yeah. Dre, come on, come on, come on. I don't know. Come on, man. Let me think about it for a little bit. I know you see Will right there, man. It's because uh, I don't know if I, I would know watch you see the his big ass. before Christmas, like on my like. You yeah, you watch both, but like. I don't... <laughs> Damn, I think. Oh, I don't know. I think L. Oh, let's go, Trey, coming and clutch it again. <laughs> There's no way to for Christmas. I'm no, it's a good movie, but Elf is Home just, Alone like, too. It's only a funny. Are we doing Christmas or are we doing Halloween? Thank you. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Home Alone too. Thank you. What the fuck? Home Alone too. Exactly. Is Home it the nightmare too. before Halloween? Home Alone too. It's about Halloween. Home Alone too. <laughs> Home Alone too. Home Alone 2. Y'all niggas haven't seen the movie. That's Home Alone 2. Hell nah. Home Alone 2. Home Alone 2. Wow. Home Alone. Home Alone. Home Alone. Home Alone. Home Alone. Home Alone 2. Home Alone 2. He's sticking his hate from the last one to this one. Home Alone 2 versus The Grinch. I'm going Home Alone 2 on this one. Home Alone 2. Grinch. Clear it through. This, for the record, would have beat Harold and Kumar regardless. So. Fine. I'm fine. Okay. As long as the Grinch ain't going nowhere. Yeah, you were the only one on the Grinch, I think. Jack Frost versus Bad Santa. I still pick Jack Frost. Yeah, it's Jack just, you know, no remakes. remakes are good, so. Didn't say that. I'm going to go Jack Frost there. That's three already, so we're moving on. I'm not voting a remake. Krampus versus Fred Claus. I'm going Krampus on this one. You really like that Krampus movie, movie, huh? Yeah, it was good. I heard it was a good movie. Is that isn't that the new one? Yeah, this is the new. I heard it was a good movie. What if I say you really like that Grinch movie? All right. Harold Kumar so ass Krampus. Crazy. Okay, here we go. We got a juggernaut right here. This is where we were getting to. Not, I don't think it's. A, I don't think it's in question. I don't think it's in question. Uh, it's Polar Express it versus a Christmas Polar Carol. Express, man. Oh, you're going Polar Express. Yeah, it's Polar, it's Polar Express. Express. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. I thought. Okay. I thought you guys were gonna go Christmas Carol. It's. It, no. It's. It's in com. No, we cleared it out. It, it's in conversation for top two. Elf versus Home Alone 2. This is another tough one. Yeah, Elf. If you think about Elf. it, these two are like very similar movies. Nah, Home Alone 2. You're crazy. I... Damn, Dre, where are you going? Do I have to get involved? <laughs> <laughs> I think. Wow. We got two for Elf so far. Jet, where, where do you think you're going? Okay, you go first. I'll think about it. Well, I know how far fucking oh, don't the other one is going, so I'm gonna go Elf. Yeah. Okay, well that clears that. That clears that. Yeah, Elf. Jack Frost versus Krampus. Gotta go Krampus still. You gotta go Jack. I, I do Jack Frost. Go Jack Here we go. Frost. I haven't seen oh, Krampus. Jack Frost. Then Krampus Jack drops Frost here. VCR. Throw the Polar up. Express versus Throw Elf. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna start it right here. I'm gonna start it right here. Give me Elf. No, po- okay, That's no, a good thing it's going to end right there, now. too. Now. Jet. No, polar motherfucker. Jet. Polar Express. Uh, polar Express. You're going to go with codes? This was your time to go against this man. Yeah, Dre. Going against me. Polar Express. Polar Express. Thank you. Come on, man. It's the best Christmas movie ever. It's got to be. And I think Polar oh, Express man. goes through here. So who's going to face the Polar Express? Christmas. Huh? Miracle Santa Claus Two. Yeah, Santa Claus Two. Have Santa has Claus anybody 2. ever seen Miracle on Thirty Four? Not, not the old one. I don't even think I've seen on any of them. Ass movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, he's black. <laughs> Santa Claus Two. Uh, the Grinch uh, versus uh. the Night Before. This is the one that's getting sent to the top. I, I just want to say I like the Night Before a lot. 
but <laughs> I haven't seen the night before, the but Grinch. I'm thinking the Grinch. I think I've seen it once, but I don't remember. That was the one where the world ended? No. Is that the one? No, that's no. not the one. Nigga, what? The one where the world ended was a Christmas movie? That's what I was confused. That's why I was confused. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that one. That movie kind of sucks, too. The world ended movie with all of the actors? It's all right. It sucks now. It was great when it came out. Yeah, but it doesn't It doesn't stand the test of time. Can, can we well, clear Co- the Grinch already Coach so we can cr- get yeah, this Coach is Grinch. Movie? John is Grinch. I'll go Grinch. We're all saying Grinch. Batman Returns versus Silent Deadly Night Part 2. I don't even know what that one on the right is, so I gotta go Batman Returns. Batman Returns. How is that a Christmas movie? It released day? December 25th. Oh, Christmas story oh, oh a Christmas story I haven't seen either of those. versus Gremlins, bro. A Christmas story. Have you seen a Christmas story? Yes. Like if you haven't seen a Christmas story, I don't know why you haven't it's seen it. It's on replay. Year. Isn't it like it, 100 years old though? The, and it's that's it's a it's a timeless movie. It's a timeless movie. Is it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll pick the Gremlins. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know. I haven't seen either. <laughs> Damn, I, I haven't. Gr- I, I, I'm a fan of Gremlins, just for the record. But I think against the Christmas story, <laughs> March of the Wooden Soldiers Scrooge? versus Scrooge. Is Scrooge this is this is this is a great one with with Bill Murray. Uh, yeah, this is Bill Murray's Scrooge. I, I enjoyed this one Bill a lot, Murray. a lot. So I, I gotta go Scrooge. Yeah, I haven't seen the one on the right. I haven't seen either of those. It's a wonderful life yeah, versus Christmas a Christmas Damn, story. Like eight of them Carol. Uh, Damn. I, I will say it's, it's a wonderful life is one of those movies that they people adore and play every Christmas like all yeah. the time. Yeah. See, that's I thought it's a wonderful life. I was getting that one and the Christmas story confused. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't disrespect the Christmas story, please. Uh, what what are we doing? What are we doing here? Christmas Carol or a Wonderful Life? Christmas I'm gonna go Wonderful Carol. Life. Yes, yeah, one and one. That John Carol on the right got Jesus in it. <laughs> yeah, probably it's a Wonderful Life because I don't yeah, know what's do going on life. over okay. there. They're gonna lose the next round anyways. It doesn't matter. Oh, Jingle All the Way versus Eight Crazy Nights. Jingle All the Way is my favorite holiday movie, bro. Uh, I'm gonna go Jingle All the Way on this one. I love I I love Jingle All the Way. That's two to one. Yeah. Jet, Cody. It's a good movie. Adam. I just I just saw this shit like two days ago again. Adam. I watch this. This is one of the ones I watch every year, bro. I gotta watch this every single year. This is a, one of the movies I would watch as a kid too a lot. Yeah, I'll go Jingle all the way. Damn, codes for the record. Adam. Adam, damn. Eight crazy nights. The Santa Claus versus Surviving Christmas, that's easy. The one that started it all, one of the best Santa Christmas Claus. movies, in my opinion, of all time, The Santa Claus. Uh, Edward Scissorhands versus Silent Deadly Night. I guess it's the first one of that last one. Uh, Edward. Edward, yeah. Yeah. Go, Edward. yeah. Home Alone versus The the Christmas Carol, uh, Chronicles. I, I don't know if you guys seen The Christmas Chronicles, but that one was actually a great movie. If you guys yes, haven't seen that, I, I would recommend it. It is a really good movie. Well, it lost. Yeah. It, it lost, <laughs> but damn! If it would have played, it got gone against anything else. I think it would have yeah, been a good, yeah. But Home Alone, been, obviously. Red Claus, maybe. Hey. Trading hey. places. <laughs> Walter White crazy. versus Trading Places. Trading Places. I trading Places. Yeah. I, I haven't uh, seen the other one, but I've seen Trading Places. That's two zero so far, John. Trading Jets. Places. Trading Places code. Trading yeah. Places. I didn't even know that was a Christmas movie. Office Christmas Party versus White Christmas. Uh, I've, seen either I seen. Uh, I've seen Office Christmas Party. It was okay. I haven't seen the other one, though. Oh, that one's newer, so probably the Office Christmas Party. It says the funniest movie it of has, the year. No, you know who, it has, <laughs> who I love? Him. What's his name? I don't know. Jason Bateman. Yep. Oh. All right, we'll go office Christmas Jennifer party. Aniston. Oh, Ernest saves Christmas versus Daddy's Homes too. I don't know if I doubt you guys ever saw Ernest. That shit was. I, I was watching that when he when I was growing up as a kid. I this think I've seen have, Daddy's Home. Well, you're good. My bad. My bad. Da- Daddy's no, no, you're good. Uh, Daddy's Home too. Yeah, I seen it once. It was okay. I think the first one was better than the second one, but 
Daddy's Home too. I think takes this one. Daddy's Home, yeah. That's a good movie. Bad Santa Two. I don't even know if I've seen this one yet. I didn't. I don't, maybe I have. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. That doesn't come to mind. Versus Love Actually. Bad Santa Two versus Love Actually. Where are you guys going? Yeah, I didn't know this was a thing. I I'll, I'll go bad Santa. Oh, that's two to one. Hey, slinging her. Bad Santa. Okay. Deck the halls versus a Christmas vacation. A Christmas vacation. Deck the halls. Whoa. Deck the halls. Yeah. Uh, what? Deck the halls. I haven't seen hard. either of these. Damn. No, it, it's a, it's Christmas vacation. It's yeah. Christmas vacation for sure. All right, buddy. Uh, lethal Weapon versus Better Watch Out. Lethal Weapon. <laughs> no. I don't think I've ever seen Better Watch Out. Yeah, that was Vacation Movies. Yeah. Uh, I'll go Lethal Weapon. I don't think I've ever seen. That's a Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Cody, John. Lethal. Oh yeah, you said better. Okay, so Dre and John. Uh, Cody. What? Lethal injection. Like Danny Glover and Lethal Weapon. Alright. Here we go. Santa Claus 2 versus the Grinch. Gotta go Santa Claus oh my 2 God, for me. It's got the like Grinch. two big names. <laughs> Shut up. Yo, he was hitting that and shit. That's funny, he said. Um, I don't know. What do you think? The Grinch? The Grinch, yeah. Probably the Grinch. Damn, wow. I was the only one for the Santa Claus 2. That's crazy. Batman Returns versus Christmas Story. Sweet. Christmas Story. Come <laughs> on, man's bats. Scrooge versus It's a Wonderful Life. I'm going Scrooge. Oh. Haven't seen it. Shit. Jingle All the Way versus The Santa Claus. I will admit The Santa Claus is a better movie, but I'm voting Jingle All the Way. I love that one. I do love that one too, but I love The Santa Claus. I will go with The Santa Claus. <laughs> The Santa Claus, yeah. Home Alone versus Edward Scissorhands. John what? just doesn't like Home Alone. Nah, Home Alone. Yeah. Yeah, it's Home Alone. It's Home Alone. Je- Dre? It's Home Alone. <laughs> no. Nah, he, they locked his ass up in the fucking attic. <laughs> they left his ass there. <laughs> I love Edward Scissorhands. Four hands. But- wait, wait, wait. Sorry, did I did I click premature? Jet, were you home alone? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, trading places versus office Christmas party. Trading places. Trading places. Yeah. yeah probably. Okay. I haven't seen those. Bad Santa two versus Daddy's Home two. Daddy's, uh, Daddy's gotta home. Gotta go, Daddy's. Poppy's home. Poppy's crazy. Christmas vacation versus lethal weapon. Uh, gotta go, Christmas vacation. Right yeah. <laughs> Wait, he said in jail. Okay, wait. Did I click my jet, Dre? Vacation or lethal? Oh, shit. The Grinch. I can oh. hear. The last <laughs> one. What was your pick on the, the last, last one? one? Yeah. Uh, was it vacation? It was vacation versus lethal weapon. Yeah, Where were fine. you guys? Okay, okay. Uh, the Grinch versus a Christmas story. Come on. It's, it's Come a Christmas on, story. Uh, it's a Christmas story. I don't see the Grinch getting Grinch. played 24 7. <laughs> this is the remake. This is a remake too. That's crazy you said that, but on the one with your favorite, you said you knew that the other movie was better and you still picked your favorite. But now with this one, this one's getting played more. Mm-hmm. What are we doing, man? This is literally on probably right now. Just and it won't it's stop. On, don't mean it's better than The Grinch. Okay, but The Grinch is a classic. That's yeah. what I'm agreeing with. Yeah. This is this is the definition of this movie is classic. Right, but so is The Grinch. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, we have Scrooge versus the Santa Claus. Damn, the that's Santa another. Claus. Santa Claus. Damn, fancy. That's a that's a that's a tough one. Home Alone versus Trading Places. Home, Home Alone. Home Alone. Damn. Home Alone. Christmas Vacation versus Daddy's Home too. Hey, Daddy's Home. 
Christmas. Christmas. Oh, shit. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That, 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 no, you were right. Justin said Christmas was... vacation. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. The Grinch versus the Santa Claus. Uh... It's been a nice ride, right? It's been a nice ride. <laughs> I like the Grinch a lot. I'm picking the Grinch. Damn, but I like Jet- the Codes, Codes is thinking on this one. So, yeah, what's your thinking. quarrel with the Grinch? Nothing. It's just. It's all right. I'm not as high as it as you guys, but eh, I think the Santa Claus is better. Uh, yeah, I think I think the this Santa is when Santa Claus good. takes it. I I don't know. Oh, that's two to two right there, Jet. Yeah, I love the Grinch, bro. Yeah. So you're going Grinch? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Grinch. That's it for the Santa Clauses. There's no more Santa Clauses. Damn. Lost. Wow. Home Alone versus Christmas Vacation. Home Alone. Home Alone. Home Alone, man. Home Alone. Home Alone needs to go up against something crazy, John. (laughs) Like the Santa Claus, too. Home Alone versus The Grinch. It's Home Alone for me. Uh, Fuck. Damn. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. You go. That nigga had a fucking uh oh sorry. Christmas lights machine gun and was shooting the fucking lights on them fucking houses. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I don't, I, Home Alone might be a better Christmas. I'm going to Grinch, bro. The, the Grinch is a better Christmas movie, but Home Alone is just a I think it's just like a you could watch it. Nah. Who Dre, you're with the Grinch too. Year. You can watch it any time of the year. Who the fuck is doing? It? You can watch any movie throughout the year. Yeah, but not the Grinch. What? Oh wait, so Dre, you're home alone. I'm saying the Grinch. Oh, okay. What are you fighting me then? Damn. Damn. I don't Were you home alone, Cody? For the record. I didn't. Yeah, I'm home alone. I said it might be. Better. All this shit just to lose in the championship round versus the Polar Express. Polar Express versus the Grinch. Wow. It's the Polar Express. Wow, it's the Polar Express. Fuck. The Polar Express. It's the greatest Christmas movie ever. Yeah, I said that. Yeah, it's got to be the Polar Express. For the record, John. Just, I mean, look. Cody, for the record, it's Polar, man. It's polar. Okay, oh, there no. you go. I mean, Clean sweep. Our winner for the best Christmas movie on LFG was the Polar Express. That was our let's fucking fight. Uh, let us know down in the comments below what you guys thought. Did you guys have your mi- movie winning, losing? What was your favorite movie? We'd also like to know that. What, what movie are you turning on every holiday, every every Christmas season? What you got? What you go to? So that was pretty cool. Make sure you guys drop us a like if you did enjoy that. Um, Next, moving on to our next Christmas thing game. What we got for you guys? We got our this or that. Uh, Jet, what do you have for us this time? Oh, shit. This This guy here. Okay. Uh, I don't think he was prepared for this or that Christmas edition. So I'm going to go ahead and get us started. Everybody else, go ahead and think of your Christmas edition, this or that. I'm going to start us off right now. Oh. Oh, you want me to start it? You got one? Go ahead. Go ahead. I got one. Y'all ready for this one? Let's see. We got eggnog. We got hot chocolate. Okay, that's easy for me because I don't like eggnog, man, but I love hot chocolate. Got to go with hot chocolate. And and in this... Oh, put the put the little marshmallows in the top, and it sure do. <laughs> you only drink you only drink so much eggnog, though. I've never had eggnog. Damn. Wow. Okay. Uh, this might not be as great as that one, but are you guys going? And maybe you guys, uh, I don't even know. Do you guys go with a real Christmas tree or a fake Christmas tree? I, I'm going to go fake Christmas tree. I used to love the real Christmas trees, but the upkeep and the needles just all over the place, man. Uh, mm-hmm. And then you can just put yeah. the, the fake one away, bring it out next year. You're good to go. Yeah, man. Yeah. 
You guys don't go into the woods and go get a tree? Like the old days, just chop up just like Christmas vacation. That's what he did. Um, uh, John, do you have one yet? Or Dre, Jen, whoever has one, I got throw one. it out there. Okay, John. Or Jet, sorry. Um, Opening presents at night or opening oh, presents in the morning? Come on. Come come on, bro. Oh. <sighs> come on, bro. I, I've always been a be- of the belief in the morning, man. You, there's nothing like waking up Christmas man, morning, man, running insane. to the Christmas tree, waking everybody up. Hey, let's go. Wake up. It's Christmas time. It's open. Let's open these presents. So for me, it's in the morning. I never, I never agreed. Glow's family did the night before Christmas Eve, midnight. Let's open presents. I, I don't agree with them. I don't like them. I'll do it in the morning. Maybe oh, one, one, <laughs> one. Yeah, we did try that a couple of times in my household. We will do one at night, and then and that's it. And it was always this. It, it was always my parents were like, "No, nah, if it's gonna be one, it's gonna be the little one." Here you go, open that one. Yeah, <laughs> so, one which one of those is the PS Five? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's it's something about that morning when you wake up, the air just smell right, the the weather yeah. is perfect. You going? Oh, you wake up, cozy, bro. <laughs> You wake up early, bro. Like, that's one of the few times you're ready to wake up early. Six in the morning, seven in the morning. You're ready to You go. grab the rail of the stairs, jump down that bitch. <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, Dre, John, you guys have one yet or not yet? Um, do you guys like Christmas or New Year's better? Christmas. <laughs> Christmas, Christmas. <laughs> nah, yeah, I gotta go Christmas. Christmas, it, well, we're on the topic, is my is my favorite holiday uh, of all of them. So, nice, gotta nice, go Christmas. Nice. Yeah. Christmas is cool for the gifts, but New Year's is good for them. For the vibe. If you're the, yeah, if you're the, the younger crowd, then yeah, I can see how you're going New Year's. But And uh, New yeah. Year's is cool because it's like you're ending the year and you're starting a new year. And that's always like means something, I guess. And you get your fake gym aspirations. I guess, yeah. You get your aspirations in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it's the whole year. Oh, chocolate chip. chip. Chocolate chip. Clears. Clears. Dang, Without chocolate chip. Doubt. Without I like doubt. peanut butter cookies. I do Damn, like peanut you butter can cookies. You like them all you want. Chocolate chip? <sighs> I'll go peanut butter. What? Yeah, I'm going what? peanut butter. Yeah. Peanut butter cookie? Oh, uh, yeah. Chocolate chip is the yeah. best cookie ever made. No. No. No, it is the <laughs> no. best cookie ever made. I will say and I said I told these guys a little while back. I I had a uh, pumpkin cream cheese cookies that you put in the oven from Pillsbury. It was limited edition. I tried it once. I said, "Oh my god!" I went back to go look for them. They were gone. Couldn't find them ever again. I thought I, I found them again, but no. That that I don't shit. That might have to be one of the best cookies ever. Ever pumpkin cheese. Whew. But yeah, okay. There you go. That was our this or that. Let us know what you guys are choosing on our this or that. Uh, and then before we head on out, as we usually like to do, we have our what to watch. Uh, I said it earlier. I'll go. I'll start us off. Uh, Jingle all the way is one of my favorite movies of all time, especially around the Christmas time. Got to go to that every year. So I, I put that on uh, two days ago. It's still it's still enjoyable for me. It's still funny. I was able to show it to Rain, and she was watching it with me for the first time. So that was pretty cool. So, yeah, Jingle All The Way. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. They have a part two. I haven't seen it, or maybe I have, and I just, no. I wouldn't recommend watching that one. I think that one was with Larry the Cable Guy. So And Larry the Cable Guy, unless he's Mater, it's not really a good time. So, yeah. Uh, anybody else have a what to watch this week? <laughs> uh, I haven't been able to watch too much TV. Um, but on my break last week, I was breaking up. Um, Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. That used to be one of the things that came on Cartoon Network every year. Um, and so I wanted to watch it. So yeah, still still hits the same. Pretty good. Grandma. Well. All of the other angels. That's another one. I don't even think I've seen that one. I don't think. Okay, and then John, you said a uh, nightmare before Christmas. Is that what you said right now? Yeah, he watched it every day of the year anyway. So. <laughs> Cody, did you get a chance to watch anything this week? No, but it looks like I gotta watch the animated Grinch movie. 
<laughs> there you go. He's got a holiday movie to watch before Christmas. The animated Grinch movie. Let him know if you guys think it's good or not. But yeah, man, like uh, that was our holiday episode. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Any final thoughts, guys, before we head out? Harold and Kumar is hate. a classic that movie, by the way. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> you don't. You don't have to care. And that's why. I, that's why I didn't get past the round it was in. Oh, oh. Well, one more thing. One more thing before we head out. Sorry. Uh, the winner of the contest. We'll vote it here from the panel, and then, like I said, we'll drop it. Uh, how many votes does John have for his sweater? Who thinks oh, he has the ugliest God sweater? I didn't win that, bro. That shit cold. No. Okay. No. Cody, how many how many votes does Cody have for his ugliest sweater? I'm gonna go ahead and, and I'm gonna vote. That that's where my vote is going. John, is that where you're going? That's two. <laughs> <laughs> That's two for codes. Dre, let me see your sweater. I don't think you showed it off. You put a I sweater on. I but... sweater. This is just my shirt. That's the Steelers. She said she was going to That's the wear Steelers. The... Wear... <laughs> no. Uh, uh, Jet. Jet with his Akatsuki. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but Akatsuki, uh, ugly Christmas sweater. Any votes for that? That is not ugly. That is, that is bad ass. Yeah, that's not ugly. Okay. And then uh, how many votes for the suit ugly Christmas sweater? I vote for that for yours. Yeah, that shit. That's, that shit is horrendous. Damn, that's two. John? Oh, he likes it. So that's two to two. Cody, you didn't give a vote at all. So where was your vote? You for yourself? No, it's yours. Because I can't vote. Damn. He vote. Okay, well, then there you go. That's three to two. It's, like, it's trying to be like a suit, but it's a sweater. Yeah. And then it's got it I thought like it's a present, cool. too. It's just. I thought I like it. But yeah, damn, I, I, I won. I ain't mad at it. You won because I can't vote for myself. <laughs> go. Well, there you go. Make sure you guys vote on that too. Like I said, there'll be polls up and stuff. So let us know who you guys think won that one. But <laughs> in any case, we hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, Merry Christmas to all of you. Happy holidays for, to all of you. Make sure you guys have an awesome holiday season with your family, with your friends. Just enjoy it. Uh, also, stay tuned for our next episode. Like I said, uh, two weeks ago, we got lucky. We dropped episodes on Monday. This one was on Christmas, so Merry Christmas. The next one's our New Year's episode, which drops January 1st. So stay tuned. We're going to have a, a New Year's theme. Uh, episode for that one so stay tuned stop by for that one make sure you guys watch it it'll be pretty fun but in the meantime make sure you guys keep it locked to lfg where you got you covered in anything and everything in pop culture and we'll see you on the next one peace Bye.